okay now um, uh, we have two co-integrated equation equation number one and equation number two under vector error correction system and we can see all the outcome here and you see uh, y become dy because last time I said y will become dy automatically that means it has become fast difference which is stationary and as I said in my previous video uh, x1 will become dx1 and it has happened and x2 become dx2 meaning that the variable has become stationary now so this is our vector error correction models and it is the dependent variable it is the dependent variable and it is dependent variable in the whole system because vector error correction model is a system equation that means all the variables can be solved simultaneously it is the dependent variable and it has two co-integrated e equation this one and this one and it has and uh, we have two lag uh, as i as i as i told you we chose two lag lag one and lag two so we have uh, two lag for each variable you can see we have two lag for each variable you can see all the variable and finally constant right so it is our model vector error correction models so here uh, how many here what is happening suppose this one is called what this one is the coefficient and this one is the standard error and this one is the t value so this divided by this you can get the t value all the time or this coefficient divided by standard error you can get the t value all the time uh, because uh, I already I mentioned here standard error means second bracket and t statistics means third bracket that is already given here so from here you can see it it is coefficient of this variable and it is the associated standard error and this divided by this always you can get it t value okay. now if i make question whether this variable is significant to explain this one uh, so it is it, we can say but it is difficult to say but if there is a p value and if the p-value is less than 5%, then yes, this variable is a significant variable to explain this dependent variable. For other ways, suppose I choose this variable, this one, this, this variable, whether this variable is a significant to explain this dependent variable. okay if there is a p value then we can say yes this one is a significant to explain this value provided the p value is less than five percent okay so uh, so our task right now yeah uh, right now to know all the p values of all the variables Okay, so uh, yeah. in our VECA model, how many coefficients are here? Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine. That means one model, one model has nine coefficients. But we have here three model. 
this one, this one, and this one. So meaning that each model has nine. So total, uh, we should have 27 coefficient. That means in the whole system of BECM, there should be 27 coefficient. Because each variable has one coefficient. So if there is a 27 coefficient, meaning that there are also 27 p-values. So from there, we can say whether this variable is a significant to explain this one or not. Okay. So first we try to know the p-values. How to know it? We go to quick, sorry, we go to proc, right? Go to make system. Then we choose order by variable. Yeah, you can see the our model. It is the first model, you can see. So this is the coefficient of the first co-integrated e equation. And C2 is the coefficient of the second co-integrated equation. And C3 is the coefficient of our lag y1, one, one lag y variable. And C4 is the coefficient of the second variable. In this way, we have C9. What is the C9? The coefficient of the constant of this model okay and second model which is dx1 so it start from c10 why c10 because it is finished at c9 so it must start from c10 because it is the system equations so all variables are linked to each other they are interlinked Okay, it start from C10. In this way, it will be finished at C18. What is the C18? The constant of this model. That is C18. And our last model, DX2, which start from C19, because it ends at C18, right? C19 until C27. So last time I told you there should be 27 coefficient, right? And it is here. It starts from C1 and finished at C27. Total 27 coefficient. Okay, now how to know the p-values of all the coefficient? How to know? Uh, we click on the estimate. Actually, uh, we must estimate all the model. This is model number one, model number two, model number three, right? We need to estimate. So I choose estimate. You can see an uh, icon here. I click here. And you know the ordinary least square, that is called OLS. We normally use OLS. So I choose, okay you know the system result has come up you can see all the c1 c2 until c27 right so and it is the p values you can see the coefficient standard error p value and finally p value that we need now because uh, this one uh, we know already this one also we know this one we also also know but last time we did not know this one but now we know this one the p-value right for every variable right that we need now and we can see uh, you see all the variables now here you can see some more things here equation number one it is this one right until c9 right c9 that is the first model and the second model is here 
CAG, right? C9, C9, and it's it start from C10, and it finished at C18, right? Then again, it start from C19, right? C19. So it is our third equation, third model, and it is ended at C27. And what is C27? This one. I go up. It is the C27, right? Meaning that these are all the statistics with C27. Okay. So th this is done already. Okay, then suppose uh, suppose I talk about I talk about uh, this uh, this variable example just one minute just one minute suppose uh, uh, suppose about uh, suppose about this variable uh, suppose I talk about this one d uh, uh, y lag to so is this variable is significant y lag to so this means c4 c4 so where is c4 c4 is this one right it is the coefficient it is the standard error so coefficient divided by standard error i can get the t statistics and this one is the p value so here the p value is how much p value is 29.56 percent which is more than five percent meaning that c4 is not significant meaning that uh, this variable that is y lag to is not a significant variable okay then we can talk about this one suppose x2 lag 1 is this variable is significant is this significant x2 lag 1 so here it is c16 the coefficient is c16 so i go up c16 is this one and here the p value is how much 99.55 percent and it is more than five percent meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis so c16 is not significant meaning that the x2 lag 1 is not a significant variable so uh, so so here there are 27 p values from c1 to c2 27 p p values such as this one this one this one this one this one i think here here is uh, only this one is significant that is c23 this is significant and all uh, and also this one is significant which is c11 right it is significant and only this two is significant uh, yes I, I this one is not 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 is this one is not this one yes significant variable this one is also significant this one is not this one this one this one 
this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Yes, this one is significant because the p-value is less than 5%. But others are all insignificant. So it is the uh, term sub uses of the using the VSA models. That's all.